For many of us, our loved ones is just a phone call away. But for those forced to sleep in the streets of KL, trying to make ends meet, a phone call is a privilege they can't afford. Noticing this need for them to reconnect with their loved ones, social activist Said Azmi Al Habshi launched a small scale campaign called Marisik Kabar Idil Fitri. Over a span of two nights, Said Azmi and a group of volunteers lent their handphones to the homeless and urban poor to contact the person they wanted to speak to the most. Each participant can call their loved ones anywhere in the world for three minutes. Said Azmi said, although some of them may already own a phone, the battery life and phone credit are usually spared for emergencies. The gesture seems simple and small, but it does touch the hearts of those in need. <laughs> Kol makna. Sebab sebab lama tak jumpa dia, sebab dia pun jaga kakak sepupu sedang sakit tenan. Ibarat macam nyawa-nyawikan lah. Jadi dia pun biasanya tahun-tahun lepas sebelum ni dia melawat juga kami, dia bagi duit zakat. Jadi tahun ni dia tak dapat lah. Saya ingat dia lupa kan saya, rupanya saya baru teringat saya kol tadi rupanya kakak sepupu saya masih sakit. Suryani, who lives with her husband and six children in Kampung Batu Muda, KL, has not seen her aunt, who lives in Rawang, for six months. Saya cakap kalau dapat datang sehingga rumah buruk saya, sehingga kalau tak dapat tak apa saya yang pergi sana. Itu pun kalau saya diizinkan Allah, saya cakap sebab saya sayang mangga saya ni, time saya susah, dia tolong. Satu lagi, dia lah peganti arwah mak saya. Mak saya baru meninggal. Meanwhile, Kamalia Ning was overwhelmed with emotion as she spoke to her siblings who were preparing for Ideal Fitri celebration back home in Kota Kinabalu. Sedih lah sebab berayat di sini seorang dengan anak-anak. Suasana di kampung berayat meriah, adik-beradik berkumpul, terutama lagi ibu bapa tiada. Cuma adik-beradik yang diharapkan, suasana di kampung seronok. Makan ala kadar pun sudah cukup kan. The first night of Marisik Kabar Ideal Fitri was held in front of Segi College while the second was in Chowkit. Good, it was my first time here doing this uh, volunteer work. I've tried to find something that use less money because when I'm not having much, this is my capable capability. Yeah, this is part of uh, Ramadan. Is for us to giving because I know Sheikh Azmi, and then uh, he do a lots of these new innovation ideas of for this uh, homeless of this kind of people. Then this is part of me of giving back to society. It was very sad to see a lot of families. It was very sad for them to be homeless without any families. I I like to do engineering, so I want to make items for people who are disabled, so they can be better. What was really sad is like a lot of people wanted to call, but they didn't have the contact numbers. There's so much more that I can do and I can contribute to society, but I don't know how to. So this is what I do with my spare time. Said Azmi came up with the idea of offering free phone calls from his experience visiting hospitals and old folks' home. But this year, I'm done giving food. I'm done giving stuff. For Raya, I used to do street solat, but this year I was thinking like, come home. I was thinking like, how do you do that? I don't have enough money to pay bus tickets for everyone. But I know that I can offer my phone. Although it was a simple initiative, Said Azmi and his team put in a lot of thought to ensure both the volunteers and participants were comfortable. A lot of people were a bit worried about hygiene. Um, another thing is about the safety of usage of the phone. And also the location must be a bit easy for them to have a little bit of privacy. So those things are put in mind in that. Um, and please understand, it's totally a, such a new concept in public wise. So people might feel a bit shy. Nobody will say that it will start and boom, 100 people. No. So it'll be small, but if you change one person's life, to me that's a success.